going on family i hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day a peaceful day a blessed day working more towards their purpose and not worrying about money but focusing on what god needs you to do um you got to excuse me, my voice sound a little bit different um kind of got a cold right now but we gonna get through this i have something that's been on my heart for a minute and i just wanted to share something with you about life and how you don't have time to waste you don't have time to be playing around you don't have time to be bullshitting and just not doing what you're supposed to do about maybe about a month or so ago uh my, he's more like my cousin he's my cousin but i can't you know he, he was 61 i can't i can't call him my cousin that's just kind of weird so that's my uncle my uncle phil was here and my uncle phil was here to go to his sister's wedding and ironically it was crazy enough that was the same weekend that my fiance lost with her aunt in a, in a crazy and horrific accident fast forward four weeks later my sister my, my sister shout out to patricia and my brother christian get, are getting married and we burying my uncle phil now ain't that crazy about how life is at, at four weeks ago a little bit more than four weeks ago my uncle phil was here he was alive he was on our back porch and i'm honored and i know our family is honored around here to spend his last days on this earth we was cracking jokes having fun they was reminiscing about old times and just kicking it with him you know his grandson looked like Josiah. they look like twins it's kind of crazy like how, how strong our genes are and now he's gone people you know, and this, and then on that same time when he was here, like I said, my, my fiance, they was burying their auntie. Four, just four weeks apart. One was being buried, another one was gone, and another, one was being buried, for celebrating her life, and the other one was having a celebration of love. Now, another one is getting there, is getting love celebrated, and now the last, this, this, and Michael Phil is now getting, was getting his life celebrated. Then, yesterday, the day before, my brother Sean and Sebastian's mom passed away. You know, it's death around us, people. You know, my, the two little young Savy and DQ, they just they just died, and they just got they just got buried not too long ago. Death, man, death is all around us, and death is something that we can't shake. But you know, these are prime examples of wonderful people who you do not know what time it's gonna happen. You do not know when it's gonna happen. I did not realize and understand that four weeks prior, my uncle Phil wasn't gonna be here no more. You know, they was talking about we was all making plans about trying to go out to Phoenix to go hang out with him, and, and you know stuff like that, and he gone now. He back home with the wall jack. The beautiful thing about that, out of his death and how the peace, it was a wonderful ceremony, as crazy as that may seem. The peace that came out of it was, you know, I got to be some cousins I ain't even know yet. Whitney, Trenton, you know what I'm saying? All my other cousins out there, I got I got to meet them. So out of his death, we got to we now we, we starting to build bonds and relationships. And that's what happens when people die, people. We gotta understand it's impact. So while you have while you have breath, while you have stuff in your lungs, a Weston too, I can't forget my cousin Weston as well. You got to realize, man, while you have time and while you have breath in your lungs, you have to make an impact. Some type of positive impact because you can't take money with you. You can't take clothes with you. You can't take cars with you. You can only take the memories that you left on these people on here on earth. So I suggest you, my people, get to making an impact. It's bigger than money. It's bigger than doubt. It's bigger than fear. It's bigger than your problems. You have a purpose. And I'm telling you, if you just get to doing what you're supposed to do, you will leave an impact. I heard nothing but wonderful memories by my Uncle Phil at his funeral, you know wonderful memory it was very peaceful it was sad but it was peaceful like it's and it's the way he wanted to go like i said sean like i said sean sean my, and my brother sebastian's mom has a lot to be proud about with those two boys they're doing mag magnificent marvelous things she can smile down from heaven that she know her boys gonna be all right she gonna see him again because you know what they're handling their business and everybody else that's done lost somebody out here just know they smiling down on you and you got the green light so stop playing and go Stop stopping your stuff, stop yielding, and stop using a yellow light to just move cautiously. You can't move cautiously through life. You gotta handle life, you gotta attack it with reckless abandonment because that's what God needs you to do. You got something important out here, so make it happen. Impact, people. When it's all said and done, what are they gonna say about you? Ain't nobody really gonna care about what type of car you drive, the type of house you live in, the money you got. That might be cool for a minute, but people wanna share the memories that you left with them. People wanna build memories with you now. People wanna build a legacy and a purpose and have some driving ambition with you now. So, people checking out left and right, people. My days not my days are numbered. Your days are numbered. All our days are numbered. So I suggest you get to work, make it happen. Let's be purposeful, God-given, God-driven. Let's make. Let's go. I love you all. Peace.